What's good, YouTube? Happy Pool 92 here, back again once again. Today, people, today we are back for episode number four of our Pokemon Y Let's Play. In the last episode, we did a lot. We got our rollerblades, we got uh, some new members to our team, which I'll go over here in a minute, and we took on our first gym here in Santa Luz City, Viola, for the bug badge, and we won. We got our first badge as well. Now, when it comes to our team, we're gonna go ahead and break it down for you guys. We still have the scatter bug that Kristen, aka Color Death, sent us. We have not evolved it. I haven't leveled it up at all, but I have done some leveling on some Pokemon, and I'll show you here in a minute. Then we also have uh Curly, our Bunnelby, which I fucking love. I love Bunnelby. I love Curly. He's learned his first ground type move as well, Mud Slap, which Mud Slap's not amazing, but still, it's it's uh, he's starting to get some diversity in his move set. He's level 14 right now, so he's catching up to this nigga right here, Black Star Hour. I almost said Greninja. Black Star Hour Frogadier. He's amazing. Water Pulse, like he's about to level up too, goddamn. But anyways, yes, that's where our party's at right now. Now I have been an even busier B as well because if you guys remember in episode 3 the audio wasn't synced up quite right um, that kind of pisses me off but I mean that's a given that's gonna happen whenever you know you have to match the audio up to someone's voice like the someone's voice like the actual moving of your mouth so I, I fully expected an episode or two to be off like that but uh, I did have to end up actually rendering that twice so during that time I went ahead and finished what I started here in San Luis City um, if you guys remember from the last episode I said that I wanted to try and complete the Kalos Pokedex in this LP and uh, in order to do that I just want to catch all the Pokemon that I encounter as I'm going through the game as opposed to like completing the game and then going back and trying to capture everything now I think I'm going to wait especially after um, what I just did what I'm about to tell you that I did uh, I think I'm gonna wait until after the game to get everybody leveled up you know I think it'll be easier then especially with experience share and all that shit you know it'll just be easier to get Pokemon leveled up as opposed to like trying to get them leveled up right now against like level 9 and not level 9 like level 3 or 4 5 6 Pokemon out there but um I did actually go and um, I think I'm pretty sure Everything up to this point in the game, on all the different routes, I've caught enough of them uh, in this box to begin completing the Pokedex. As you can see, you know, I have a Pikachu here, and then, wow, 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 Pikachu here, and then another Pikachu right here to evolve into a Raichu. So then I will still have a Pikachu and a Raichu, that's what I'm saying. So I have a Zigzagoon and another one to evolve into a Lanoon. Same thing with Bidoof and Bibarel. Then I actually, or Bibarel or Biber, or whatever the fuck you want to pronounce it, and then I actually went and caught an additional Bunnelby. And I did the trade in, I almost said Lunatone, Sunatone, um, Santa Luna City here. If you guys remember, when we first got here, we ran into that hiker and wanted to trade a Bunnelby for a Farfetch'd. Well, we did it, and it's Quacklin the Farfetch'd is his name. So, I figured, fuck it, if we're trying to fill up that Pokedex, he's here. So, we got him as well. Got a couple other additional duplicates, and then I actually leveled up um, our second... Uh, Scatterbug into Spupa. So the Scatterbug in our party will evolve into this little trash can looking motherfucker right here. Spupa. And uh, I'm pretty sure this over here, this is our event torture. And then we just have an extra Weedle down here just chilling. And then we have three Azurals, of course, for a Meryl and a Azumarill. Then Pidgey for Pidgeotto and Pidgey Ot as well. Now, these Azurals, they are actually my first fairy types, by the way. If you guys know me, then I absolutely fucking hate fairy types. But it's our first fairy that we caught. But um, Azural takes so much to capture. It's kind of sort of rare out here. You don't see him as much as other Pokemon. And he, like, refuses to stay in the fucking Pokeball. Like, you're a fucking Azural, a baby Pokemon. Shit! Get in the goddamn ball and stay there. How hard is that? But yeah, it's whatever. But anyways, that's where we're at right now. Um, eventually, I'm going to have to get to the point where I have to get the other starters. I'm going to need two Frokies, three Chespins, three Fennekins, and the same thing for the Candle starters. But um, I'm sure through Twitter or somehow, I'll, I'll get in contact with some people who'd be willing to help me out with that. And we'll get all that centered and squared away. But besides that, let's go ahead and begin this episode. I'm not quite sure what a goal for this episode is going to be. Um, I know after we got our first gym badge, we had two different routes we can go. We could go over here into Route 22, or we could go to the northwest of Santa Luna City up here. Oh, shit. Oh, you are, aren't you? You're the one of the kids that got a Pokemon from Augustine Sycamore, right? Would you look at that? You got a bug badge. Looks like I might have a new scoop. To beat Viola at a young age, you really are something, aren't you? Oh, sorry. I never did introduce myself, did I? I'm Alexa. The gym leader you just faced, Viola, is my younger sister. I don't remember if this is the voice that I gave her before, but fuck it. I work as a journalist myself. Here, why don't you take this to celebrate getting your first badge? 
Oh shit, we got the experience share. Let's go. That's amazing. That's awesome. It's going to make training so much easier. If you have an experience share and you turn it on, all the Pokemon on your team get experience points, even if they don't appear in battle. I hope it helps with your training. I work at the big publishing house up in Lumio City. Feel free to stop by anytime if you have the next big scoop to share with me. And she's gone. She's walking. Or I was going to say Route 22 or Route 4 over here. Um, of course, they both have Pokemon in it that we're going to need to capture. But I think Route 4, I haven't really explored Route 4 yet. But Route 22, unfortunately, I did go through here. And I, those two weren't trainers. But I did fight all the trainers in this pass off screen. Um, just because I was trying to level up that Scatterbug into a Spupa. And because I wanted to check out the Pokemon on the route here to see if I need to catch them before we move on to Lumio City. Um, and I think all the Pokemon... <coughs> I can't talk. All the Pokemon over here are the exact same as the ones before San Luis City. With the exception of you can catch a Farfetch'd over here too. Which was kind of super sad face that I give a, the amazing Bunnelby for a Farfetch'd in the tray. But it doesn't really matter. It's whatever. Um, and a lot of people were asking me why don't I do grinding montages, grinding montages, and like, I'm sitting there thinking this would be a perfect example of grinding montage, but, like, I really don't need it, like, it's the beginning of the game, we're not really, like, grinding per se, um, once we get, like, into next week and we start going one episode a day and we actually have a use for grinding, then maybe, um, we might incorporate grinding montages into the Let's Play, but until then, I'm just kind of partial to it, but I did everything over here on Route 22 except for going through here, Restore. Oh. Oh, goddamn. Uh, I'm going to switch him out with uh, Curly here so Curly can get the training. And then we're going to turn on our experience share because apparently the experience share works different in this gen than in previous gens. So let's see here. Where is it at? Where is it at? Experience share. Turning on this device will allow all the Pokemon on your team to receive experience from battles. Oh, it's already on. All right. So. I guess that means everybody on the team is going to get experience when we beat Pokemon and whatnot. But like I said, I did everything in Route 22 up to this point because it looked all official and spooky and shit. I didn't want to go through here and uh, do too much shit off screen. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This gate is the entrance to Victory Road. Only Pokemon trainers who collected all eight badges may pass. So your total number of badges is... Oh, I'm sorry, but you don't have the qualification needed to take on Victory Road. Please come back when you have eight badges, bitch. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Listen up, taking on challenges may be important, but well, that's four lives beyond here. You're not ready to tackle that yet. Okay, so I guess it really didn't matter if I did this off screen or not, because they won't let us go through here. So that leaves us with just the route that's northwest of Santa Luna City to go through. So we're going to go ahead and, I guess, go that way now, since we're pretty much done here. We've caught all the duplicates of the Pokemon that we need. We've done everything we can here in Santa Luna City. And, uh, yeah, let's go explore Route 4. And, oh my god, I'm going to have to take on some more fucking trainers because catching all those Pokemon that's expensive when it comes to Pokeballs and fighting those damn Azurals that like to break out of fucking Pokeballs for no damn reason that's annoying as fuck you don't know <gasps> it's a Ross oh my god wow where's the Pokeball when you need it oh my god I'd love to capture a Ross right now but unfortunately we're gonna kill him because why not we're gonna kill him we're gonna kill him because why not, you guys? Why not? Ralts use confusion. Oh my god, I love to use a Ralts. But I'm not gonna use a Ralts on my team. Uh, I have to come back here and capture, what, four of them so I can get a Galilee too? God damn. Wow, that's awesome. I'm jelly. I'm jelly, I'm jelly, I'm jelly, I'm jelly, I'm jelly, I'm jelly, I'm jelly. And speaking of that, speaking of that, um, a lot of you guys mentioned in the last episode because I said that I was going to um, use all six gen Pokemon on my team. And a mega evolution, and everyone's got to be all stickler about it and be like, Oh, well, Nappy, Nappy, there are no six gen Pokemon that get a mega evolution. And it's like, I know that. Why can I not go through it? Yeah. It's like, I know that, but it's like, to me, when I say shit like that, like, like in my head, it's kind of like a given. Like, do I, do I have to be so specific and anal about it to say specifically, I'm going to use five six generation Pokemon and one. Pokemon from a previous generation because that one Pokemon is going to be my Mega Evolution. I mean, if I say I want to use all six gen Pokemon and a Mega Evolution, it should just be just, just, should just be a fucking given, right? Oh well. It is what it is. But let's see here. We got some mazes here on this route. I, mm, I was going to say, I want to run him back, back and forth in the grass like that. <gasps> it's a Flabebay. I gotta give a fuck. Flabebay is a brand new fairy type Pokemon. So it's nice that we can see Flabebay's here. 
Uh, that'll be interesting to uh, capture as well. I think Flabe Bay evolves twice. So we'll have to come back and capture three of these. Fairy win. This nigga. We'll have to come back here and capture three of these motherfuckers right here. All that good shit. Does Flabe Bay change colors with different regions too? Because I don't remember seeing a yellow Flabe Bay when they first announced it and whatnot. Black Star level 17! Nigga, woo! Scatterbug's level 5. Scatterbug evolves at level 9 and then evolves again into Vivalon at level 12. So if we can get some trainer battles and get some serious experience going, we could probably end up getting uh, our Vivalon in this episode. Hopefully. Cross your fingers. Cross them knuckles you got, knuckle. Damn, get the fucking super potion. I'm about to say, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, damn. But alright, so, we're gonna continue to make our way up through this- Oh, can't go over there. Through this route- Oh, squeeze through the fucking gap, nigga! God damn! Oh, shit! Oh my god, who just leaves? Okay, you know what? Fuck the rollerblades. We're not fucking with the rollerblades anymore. We got a great ball. We can go back and catch a flabby bay or a waltz or some shit. But for real, like, them Pokeballs is, like, making and breaking me right now. It's not even funny. God damn, like, I had- I barely just had enough to get my last Zoomerol that I need to catch. Legit, like I just barely had enough to catch that last Azumarill. Oh, Kombi! Oh shit, nigga! Look. I'm gonna make notes of all the Pokemon here. I feel like a kid again because I remember when I the only other time I actually did legit like fill the Pokedex run was on my Diamond version, way long ass time ago. And I had like so many different notes and shit. We need three Ralts. We need Fla Baby. We need three of them niggas, and Combi just, Combi just evolves straight into Vespaquin, right? If it's a female, it evolves straight into Vespaquin, right? So then, we only need two Combis. Alright, and I just kind of want to take notes so that I know when I'm done, what I need to shoot for when I come back here. Alright, so let's get the fuck out of here, check to see if there's another maze on the left side over here. And there is, what item do we have over here? Oh, we got a trainer. Oh, we got somebody want to get their ass handed to him, nigga. What the fuck you up to over here? It's circling around in me. Oh, can I get through? I was going to say, can I get through without being noticed? God damn, this maze. Shit. With these new controls on the, ro ro on the roller blades, this is ludicrous. Come here, bitch. Let me fight you. There we go. I'm warning you, youngster. My carp fish here is some sharp pincers. Nigga, what the fuck? Ain't nobody worried about your damn carp fish. Damn, you were challenged by Gardner Wheaton. You look old and tired. You look like Nintendo reached into Plants vs. Zombies and brought your old ass out. And put you in the game and gave you a corefish of all things. A corefish of all Pokemon. I can't hate on corefish though. I love corefish. Corefish is awesome. Crawdon's amazing. That's one Pokemon I would, would not have minded to see a mega evolution of. Mega, mega Crawdon. God damn. Big ass fucking crab. This nigga dancing around the fucking mud. Electricity's powers, but do I look like an electric type nigga? Do I look like an electric type nigga? Do I look like an electric type nigga? Get smashed, nigga, get smashed. But I think this Corefish, besides the uh, gym leader Viola's Pokemon, I think it's the highest trainer Pokemon that we run into yet. So it's nice. It's nice that we're seeing some increased levels. So we can actually get some fucking experience. God damn. But like I said, when, um... We get the Scatterbug to evolve into Vivalon. I don't know if I want to keep it in my party yet, because I don't know if Vivalon is going to be a real powerhouse or tank. Um, I know for a fact that the fourth gym in this game is a Grass-type gym, so Vivalon could very well help out there. Um, but originally when I sat down to think of Pokemon that I wanted on my team, Vivalon was not one of them. And look, there's a fucking red flower one. The other one's yellow, so I guess it doesn't matter what region you're in, it's just whatever. It's whatever, nigga, it's whatever, it's whatever. Curly, get this experience, hit level 15, knock this bitch out one hit. What the fuck, Curly? Let this bitch use Vine Whip on you, nigga. Come on, now. Come on, man. Come on, man. But yeah, I don't know if we're going to keep Vivalon in our party or not. Um, it might end up getting dropped off at the PC once it evolves. Um, because, especially being this early in the game, I don't want to fill up my party so fast and limit myself from other Pokemon, and at the same time, I don't want to, this nigga wants to learn Takedown, at the same time, I don't want to, um, have a full load, like a full party this early on in the game, it makes training a lot harder. Alright, what moves should be replaced with Takedown? Let's see here, we definitely want Takedown. What is Double Slap? Do Double Slap's kinda nice, sometimes? I think I'll get rid of it though. Mud Slap does 20, oh shit. 
Never mind, we're gonna get rid of Mud Slap. I don't know, Devil Slap does 15, but it hits more than once. Mud Slap only hits once. So even if Devil Slap hit twice, which I'm pretty sure is like the minimum amount, um, it's gonna do more than Mud Slap would. But Mud Slap is ground. Fuck it, let's go. Get rid of Mud Slap. If it's a mistake, oh well. Oh well! Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. Curly Learn Takedown, nigga, let's go. I love this dude. I know that he evolves early. I'm not going to tell you guys the levels just yet. And if you guys know, please don't spoil it for everyone else in the comment section. Um, but I do know what level that Curly's going to evolve at. So I hope, I hope and pray that uh, he turns out to be a pretty decent Pokemon. Because I know Pokemon that evolve somewhat early in the game aren't always the greatest. Like, they, they, don't, they aren't always given the best stats. Um, out there. I was gonna say two stage evolutions, but look at Drill Burn to Excadrill. Excadrill's fucking amazing. Oh my god, I'm so tempted to use fucking. Oh, I guess I did use takedown. Shit! I did not mean to do that. Please don't kill my curly. Please don't kill my curly. Please don't kill my curly! <laughs> oh shit! I didn't mean to use takedown. God damn it! <sighs> Fuck! I did not mean to use takedown. Shit! Mm. I'm not gonna get any fucking level there. Mm. I didn't mean to use that. Uh. Anyways, I was gonna say most two stage or one stage evolution Pokemon aren't always the world's strongest, but if you look at Drillburn X into Excadrill, uh, Excadrill is a fucking monster. So I'm hoping that once Bunnelby evolves, he'll still be a decent member for the team and he can still take hits and dish out damage a little bit. Cause that's really all I'm concerned about. Can you take a hit or two? And in turn, while you're taking them hits, can you turn around and just deal out that damage right back to that nigga that's hitting you? Shit! Alright, so let's go heal our Bunnelby here, because I don't want to waste any potions or medication or any of that shit. Not like we have any revives. I don't know if we can buy revives or not, but I don't want to waste any potions for right now. Um, I probably would have used the potion in that battle if I hadn't accidentally misclicked and chosen takedown. So yeah. Oh well. Oh well. So let's get the fuck out this town, or this city, and continue on our way here. Oh, there's another, there's another little nigga running around here. Look at the horse he found. Ah, oh, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. There we go. Run for me. I battle just like I skate. Non-stop victory is the only way for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this little nigga. Rolling skater, rolling. What up, rolling? You got a Pidgey. I got three of them niggas, yo. Three Pidgey, yo. Three, three, uh, three, three, three Pidgey, yo. Three Pidgey, three Pidgey, three Pidgey. Three Pidgey, three Pidgey, three Pidgey. Three Pidgey. Now we're gonna use takedown since we have full health. Come on, smash that nigga. Look at that takedown animation. God damn. Holy shit. I was gonna say, watch Pidgey use Brave Bird and just wreck me. <laughs> Out of nowhere. But then again, if you use Brave Bird, uh, Pidgey would die from the recoil. And it's a joke. I understand level 10 Pidgey. Can't know Brave Bird. Calm down. There's going to be that one guy in the comment section that takes it serious. It's like, Dappy, level 10 Pidgey with Brave Bird? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I'm like, goddamn. I'm not in my Spanish teacher's class. I don't need you to sit there and say, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Over and over and over again. But all right, let's see where else where else can we go? What else is up around here in between Santa Lone City? No, is that a party? They keep it rocking. Let's see what else is between San Luis City and uh fucking Lumio City. Can we get through here? Holy shit! Oh my god, these rollerblades. Thank you. Give me the poison barb. Because I have a poison type on my team, right? That needs the poison barb. I know there's a guy up there, but we'll we'll clear this out one at a time. We'll clear these these trainers out one at a time before we get to Lumio City. You see, it's weird. It's weird because I'm playing through this game blind, basically. I think a lot of people on YouTube are, so it's weird to sit here and go through all these battles because normally, like, all these battles would be a part of the grinding montage or, in turn, you know, they would be uh, sped up, fast-forwarded through, but we can't do that. So it's like a good, you know, like, we're 20 minutes into the episode now we haven't even made it to Lumio City yet because we're doing nothing but battling. Battle, 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 battle. Got about grew level eight, nigga. Oh my god, nigga. Preschool my I got her ass wrecked. Go back to school, bitch. I mean, call a little girl bitch, but still. You know what I mean. Nah, I'm saying, nigga. You know what I'm saying. All right, let's see where the fuck else can. Ooh, ooh. No, 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 no! Shit! I didn't mean to go. 
Hello there! Have you ever heard of a Pokemon called Flabebe? Oh, I see! It's registered in your Pokedex! That's what I would expect from one of the trainers, one of the professional handpicked Pokemon trainers. Professors handpicked Pokemon trainers! Flabebe. Oh, wait, that's wrong chick. Flabebe is now, brace yourself, a fairy type Pokemon. Fairy type? Oh, I can't read! Game Freak! What is this? What is this? This has turned the entire type matchup system on its head! And we begin battling fairy type Pokemon against other types of Pokemon at Professor Sycamore's request. My name's Cena. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. Oh, conceited, are you? I'm Dexio. Two years ago, Professor Sycamore entrusted me with the Pokedex. You could call me a Pokemon Voyage veteran. If you like, I'll show you the way to the lab, so come along now. No! Oh, well, don't be shy, okay? Come talk to us when you want to go to the lab. I feel like they both have basically the same voice. But I'm not ready to talk to these niggas yet. I want to fucking fight trainers and get fucking items on the ground that I don't need, like poison barbs. Yeah! Poison barbs! I'm sitting here trying to think of, like, a Paul Mooney joke comes to mind right now, but I don't want to say it because that would require too much, like, setup for you guys to understand it. I was going to say, you know, they were my items. <sighs> never mind. Never mind. Failed joke. Failed joke is fail. I'm sorry. Now we're fighting a Pichu where fucking, uh... Mud slap or whatever the fuck it was. Mud shot would actually be kind of useful. Never mind. Takedown does it too. Static. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Damn. Damn, nigga. Damn. Static. Fuck me up. Cody's dancing with a recoil. I just want to get these niggas leveled up. Oh my god, Pikachu. Pika, Pika. That's the only. That's the only reason I want to do all these fights right now is because I want to get uh, the scatter bug leveled up. What the fuck was that? Was that play nice or some shit? I'm paralyzed! Come on! Let me fuck up this Pikachu! Thundershot. Curly? There you go, nigga, there you go. Don't let this take down. Nigga. Curly. We got rules on this team, yo. Number one, you're paralyzed. That's cool, that's fine, that's something you could avoid. But when you get the chance to attack, nigga, you need to hit! You need to fucking hit! Let this Pikachu play, you fucking play nice over and over and over again, lowering your goddamn attack, so even when you use takedown, bam, you're not gonna fucking smash it. That should've destroyed that Pikachu. Absolutely annihilated it. Pikachu's a bitch, it has no fucking defense. It's sad. Smash this nigga. BAM! There we go. Get wrecked, yo. Get that Pichu Pikachu combo to fuck up out my face, Nook. Anything else? Are we good? Are we good? Level 9! That means this nigga's going low! Pokey fan Gabe, suck a fat cock. How's that? Get out of my face, nigga. You holding a kid with a fucking Pancham, but you ain't got a Pancham on your team. Alright, so Scatterbug is evolving. <gasps> what could it possibly evolve into? I have no idea. I have no idea. I've never evolved a Scatterbug before. <gasps> Oh my god, that's a bug trash can! Your scatterbug evolved into Spupa. Alright. Spupa learn protect as well when he evolves. So now we just need to get him level up to level 12, and then Spupa will evolve into our Japanese Vivalon. Hopefully. So from what I could oh shit, there's a trainer there. I was gonna say from what I could tell there's two more gardeners on each side that I think we want to take on before we head into Lumio City. That nigga got a charge out on his backpack. Look at that! Woo! Magic cart, 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 magic cart. And of course, when I caught all those Pokemon on those routes before San Luis City, I didn't have a fishing rod or surf or anything yet, so... Look at Magikarp on the land. That's so fucking sad. That's so sad. The saddest animation ever. Magikarp is just bloom, 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 on land. Wow, I want to fight a Magikarp in the water and see if he does the same thing. That's so fucking sad. I'm sorry. That's so sad. Look at Magikarp. I feel, I feel bad right now. That's sad. Wow. I feel really sad right now looking at this magic card. Look at him! Look at his face! Have you guys seen that vine of the fish that's making the little ma thing with his mouth and they replace the, the audio with Buster Rhymes from Look at Me Now? It's pretty fucking hilarious. Go look it up if you haven't seen it. Alright, so smash that magic card. Magic nigga, get the fuck out of here. 
Preschool Adrian. All you gotta do, nigga. No, don't don't enjoy. Don't encourage the split splash splash. Nigga, evolve that bitch to the mighty Gyarados and crush people's souls with it. Some nigga behind me is making noises. Look at this. She got a fucking fly baby doll. Oh god, you have a Burmy. So this means all you're gonna do is spam protect the entire time. That's all you're gonna do. And BTWs, you guys, if you hadn't noticed, we did actually change our clothes a little bit. Uh, I'm broke as fuck, so I didn't actually buy any clothes. I think I just took the jacket off and changed the shirt or some shit like that. Um, if I have the excess spending money, I might go around and fuck with the customization of the clothes and whatnot, but... Oh, wait, he doesn't know just tackle. I mean, just uh, protect. He's got tackle. This one does, too. Uh, but if I if I can uh, have enough money left over, then I'll go around. Really? You got a super potion on level 7 Burmy? Are you kidding me? Wow, 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 no words, no words, no fucking words. And go ahead and spam protect again, like I know you will. What is the fucking point? What is the fucking point? Spam and protect like that. Come on! Shit! Come on! Curly's paralyzed. We need to just go to Lumio City. <laughs> we need to just go to Lumio City, fuck this shit, god damn it, god damn it, Bobby. Alright, let's get get the fucking experience, level up, damn it, you're not leveling up. These Burmese aren't giving off enough experience. Yeah. Oh, look at this, little Sam Burmy. sam a -dam. Sam, sam worm dam You use tackle? What the fuck? I didn't do shit. Can we smash this Burmy with this takedown? Thank you! Come again. Go collect some more better Pokemon, bruh. Or chick, whatever, sis. Alright. Blink! Level 16, nigga. Ooh, I love it, 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 I love it. And can we get Spupa? God damn! How many fucking Burmies does she have? Am I not paying attention? Holy shit! Like, I get. Okay, this is her last one. I was gonna say, like, I get you want one of each different colors and shit, but god damn. Nobody give a damn that much about a Burmy. Shit! Don't be paralyzed. There you go. Don't miss. Bam! Smash this nigga Burmy. God damn. Get that out of here. What is the pink one? The trash Burmy? There's regular sand and then trash Burmy, I think. Alright, Pokefan Agnes, get wrecked. Get wrecked and get out my face. Get wrecked and get out my face. Get to stepping. I think this is see, this is the OCD in me right now. Because, like I said, I want to fight all these trainers and shit, but I really don't want to waste another super potion out here bullshitting. And he's paralyzed, too, so I'm just going to go ahead and head down here and heal. But don't worry! Have no fear! We have our nifty, handy-dandy rollerblades to get us back and forth. Oh, shit, what's up with the change in angle? Alright, Nurse Joy, try to get these digits, Karen. I call you up. I call you up. Play on them pigtails. Make you squeal like I was Jenny. Anyways... Enough about that. Enough about that. Alright, so let's go up here and fight these last two gardeners and then make our way to Lumio City and then I think we'll end up calling it an episode there. Oh uh, yes, lots of traveling for episodes, I know, right? So much fun. I'll try to avoid that from here on out if I know for a fact that we're just gonna have routes. I might include it in like some sort of grinding montage, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. But I'll try to keep it so that the entire episode is not just uh, fucking grinding. Because that's, that's boring. Like, this is boring just seeing me battle over and over and over again. I mean, I guess I guess you could say it's not because it's brand new and a lot of people are still enjoying the battle animation and whatnot, but still, I know I wouldn't want to sit and watch somebody make almost zero progress storyline-wise in an episode, 30-minute episode, just battling people over and over and over again. But alright, let's smash these niggas and get into fucking Lumios and get the hell out of here. Hopefully, uh, I don't think we're gonna get two levels off this Corpfish. Oh, I get it. Corpfish is little snappers. He's got a little thing trimmer. He could just snap, snap, snap the, the blades and shit. Which wouldn't make much sense because wouldn't the, the grass from the blades fuck up Corefish? I don't know. I don't know. The grass from the blades. The blades from the grass fuck up Corefish. Even though he is standing on grass. So I guess that's, that's backwards logic. Nappy way to go. Black Star's level 18. Good shit. Speedball's level 10. Oh my god! Alright, so we beat him. We got one more gardener left. I really don't give a fuck what you gotta say, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you gotta say, nigga. Let's pick up this item, a netball. Hmm. Interesting. So we found a great ball and a netball. 
Are you kidding me? Oh, you asshole! Aw, oh, shit! You fucking asshole, let me go back. Fly, baby. Fly, baby. Hey, fly, baby. Fly, baby. I'm in the club like fly, baby. Fly, baby. Fly, baby. Fly, baby. Fly, baby. Let's see, will the quick attack kill? No, it won't. I might actually try and catch this one right now since we're here. And we have a great ball and a net ball. Let's see here. Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Let's see if we can catch a fly, baby. This will be my technically second species of fairy type that I've caught, but uh, it'll be my fourth one because I already have three Azuras. And the fly, baby is caught. So we need two more fly, babies now to complete our collection in our Pokédex. Pokédex. And we still get experience for catching Pokémon as well, so that's cool. That's nice. It's awesome. Let's see fly, baby's entry here. When it finds a flower it likes, it dwells on that flower its whole life long. It floats in the wind's embrace with an untroubled heart. What if the flower dies? What happens then? What happens if the flower dies? I don't get it. Does Fly Bebe die? That's some like fucked up Pokedex description shit like Spoink. Like when Spoink dies, like it has to keep- Oh, it's a ladybug! Like Spoink, its heartbeat is based off of like its spring going up and down, boing 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 shit like that. So, whenever it stops jumping, it dies. Yep. And Ladybug just evolves into Lady N. So... Oh wait, I just wrote times three. What the fuck? I just said that. So we just need two of those. So we just killed this one. So we need another one for Ladybug and another one for Lady N. And we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. Can we get the fuck out this grass? God damn. Let's go over here and fight this last. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! <sighs> Fuck you! How's that? Fuck you! Fucking up my shit! Get through here and fight this whack ass old man! Come on! Show me your fucking corpse, bitch! I'm gonna pick up this island and. Fuck this damn game! Shit! Jake can take it back. I love this damn game. All right, Gardner, Fabian, Fabian, or the fuck your name is. Come on, come on, Curly. Take some ass. Take some ass. Kick ass. Take some names. Shit. Wreck this core fish real quick. Whoop! Bam! Get, oh my God! I was gonna say get wrecked, Joe. Oh, we only got 14. Don't kill yourself. Vice grip. Oh damn! All right, we will uh, not like that again. Can we tackle? Get wrecked. Get wrecked, nigga, get wrecked. Get wrecked, nigga, get wrecked. There we go. And we beat Gardner Fabian. Like your combination with Pokemon. Okay, so we've officially beaten all the trainers in this route, and I'm going to pick up this last item right here. Whatever the hell it might be. An ether. Okay, I was going to say it's useless, but an ether is actually not useless at all. That's actually an item that I would not mind trekking through all this shit to pick up, so. Alright, so we've done all we can over here, and I'm actually going to stop right here and save the game and end this episode off right here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to, in future episodes, try and keep it from being just me going through routes the entire fucking time and not actually doing anything relevant to the storyline, because I hate that. But, unfortunately, that's what this episode was, and um, could you imagine if we had to do the Route 22 bullshit over there? Um, to the east of San Luis City 2 in this episode, that'd be annoying as fuck. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to, um, I probably won't go into Lumio City just yet. I'll probably head back to San Luis, heal up, and get some more Pokeballs, and try and get some captures over here, as many as I can. And, um, in the next episode, I guess we'll take on Lumio City and find out everything that's inside there, and see the professor, I guess, since he's there. But besides that, you guys, I want to thank you for all your support. Smash that like button for me if you enjoyed today's video, and share it with a friend for me if you can as well. And uh, with that being said, you guys, you know me, to that point, I'm out.